this coming August the 2nd, it will be 24 years of me being sober. Six of my friends won't be around to celebrate with me because they died from hep C. One day in November of 1999, my doctor said there was a chance that I might have hep C. I really didn't know anything about hep C and was only introduced to it when my friends started taking medicine for it. My doctor recommended a biopsy. The test showed that my liver was being damaged by the virus. The news didn't necessarily shock me because I was once an alcoholic and former intravenous drug user. I grew up in the jets, or projects as people call them today. My friends and I used to shoplift candy and break windows of houses in the bottoms, which was our name for the Colfax Viaduct neighborhood. When I started ninth grade, I had been in juvenile hall eight times. To put me on the right path, my mom enrolled me in St. Cajetan's Catholic Middle School. In the last two years of high school and the first two years of college, my sixth grade teacher and her physician husband took me into their home. They taught me how to study. In 1955, I was admitted to CU Boulder one of a handful of Latino students. I tried hard in college, but started drinking and doing drugs. Then came prison. When I got out of the joint, it took me eight years to earn a BA and another five to get an MA in secondary education. I was married and had four kids. In the late 1990s, I had to go to the CU Health Sciences Center in Denver a couple times a month to get tested and see if the treatment was working. Injecting interferon into my midsection three times a week made my stomach black and blue. The pain prevented me from swimming and playing basketball and football. I was tired all the time and my ankles constantly itched. The interferon alone cost about 2000 a month. But my doctor told me about this opportunity to be a guinea pig in a research study in return for free medicine. I joined the study and for three and a half years I endured interferon injections and Rebitol capsules. I'll never forget the day in July of 2003 that the nurse told me my test results came back negative for hep C. I know I can't badger people about their unhealthy behaviors, but I can talk and teach others what wasn't taught to me when I was a kid. I do not know what faith awaits me. I only know I must be brave. And I must face a man who hates me. A liar, coward, a craven coward, a liar, coward.